Yamori! That was the ninja I was thinking of. Welcome back to Live Alive. Now the password is River. We've come to the ninja's chapter. The ninja, to be precise. And he's doing sneaking things. It's a sneaking mission. Use of ninja will be involved. And he's a level 6 ninja. And he can't get in the front door. We're gonna have to find another way to deal with this. We don't want to be killing regular people. We usually kill ghosts and stuff. Also, they can't see me anywhere. And if you hear random noises, it's because... One of the people that live in the house, even though they don't have a job, just randomly decide that midnight is the best time to get their chores done. So I need to get back to the roof. Or the battlements. Also, there's a ninja running around. He has ninja seeking vision. There we go. And we gotta head back this, in this direction because we're taking a detour. Remember, there's a pit in the middle of that thing. You don't want to end up at the beginning of the level again. So previously, we went there. But you could also do tree. And secret passage. And now the password's origin again. That bell is definitely not on an hour basis. We're in a secret passage. I wonder where it leads. Huh, that's a curious wall placement. Wanna see something cool? One, two. Hey, we're somewhere different. I wonder where this leads. This is a secret boss. And it's a secret boss you should only fight if you're killing a whole bunch of people. Because the prize is that sword over there, which is just as powerful as the item you get for a pacifist run. It's, uh, Majin Ryanosuke. He's really hard. Um, the only tip I can give you is that, um, stay away from his horizontal. Also, you should have a friend. So, to get out of here is one, two, three, four... And then we're back where we started. Nice optical illusion, huh? It's river again! Let's get wet. We can't invisible in the river. We gotta be careful. Our stuff like this will happen. That's okay, we could just run from the battles. And run away from everything. These guys kinda home in on you a little bit. Also, there's another thing lurking in here. You can barely see it. It's right there. It's like a fish-looking thing. Is it like a weird shadow? It's probably going to be hard to see on the video. That's another super boss in there. We're actually going to be killing him, but a lot later. We have to do things in this giant castle. This is Takeshi's castle. We're going to go meet Takeshi. We're going to go beat Takeshi, too. I mean, it's in his name. Over here, this dude. If you try to go up to him, there's a trap door sitting in front of him. And you end up in a fight with a dude. And it counts as a kill because he's technically human. That is, um... What the heck is his name? Ah, uh, I, I can only remember the last... Oh, okay, I have it written down, actually. And now the password is Origin. It's Amakusa Shiro. It's an actual guy. It was a Catholic that led some kind of rebellion in Japan, and he got executed. He was like 16. And he missed the bus because he promised to return in a century. And it didn't happen, because this is the Bakumatsu era is like 120 years after that. All these dudes in here are fights. That guy's a fight. That dude up there in the top right's a fight. That guy down there is a fight if you don't want to feed him. These two is named Very and Nice, and yeah, you, you fight them too. You gotta kill all of them if you're killing everybody. We have nothing to do in the jail. Unless we want to kill people, and we don't want to kill people. We do get this. Don't mind me. I'm just equipping a sword in front of you. You know, your sword. Extra attack power that I don't really use. 
Now we're in this area. I think there's a secret door over here. Yeah. There's a woman in here. We don't kill women. Not even on the 100 kill. Not yet, anyway. I will let you know when it's okay to kill women. In the video game. It's never okay to do that in real life. And now it's River. You do have to keep the uh, tabs on that password every time the bell rings. Got a bunch of Vic Romanos running around here. Go over that way. Go to the left. By the way, if you go down that south exit, you will end up outside the castle and you'll have to do the long way again. Everybody wants to be around me. How are they not bumping into me is a better question. That guy just walked right through me. Also, that door to the left, I'm pretty sure, is a fight. While I'm invisible, I might as well take a look. Oh yes, there is an old lady in there. And she attaches herself to you. And you have to kill her 16 times to get rid of her, and she counts as a lady kill. So it's a bad idea all around. This guy's okay, though. Oh, what was it again? It was River, wasn't it? Yeah, I remember my passwords! And our prize is Shinobi's Birdlime and some money. I think Shinobi's Birdlime is uh, some kind of weapon thrown item thing. Yeah. Lots of healing and attack items in this chapter. This is another kill if you want to do that. And now it's Origin. This dude! That weird looking guy. What was he doing? This is what he was doing! He trapped us! Luckily, I have fire to deal with wood. Take that! That's some sturdy wood. Let's try to shirk and storm up from here. Ah, it is the first thing! And, and apparently it could attack you! I'm not sure how! Out of my way. I need to throw shurikens at that guy. Unlimited shurikens. You can level up off that guy. You can get kills for the barricade and him, and he doesn't count as a human kill, so it's great. He looks more like a robot dude. But that was the Trap Master. We're gonna be seeing a lot of traps, because it's ninja era. Alright, this room is okay to be in. Get a ten musa, another kanasada, a shuriken, and the lady is sitting in front of this, but you have to kill her to get at it, and it's just money. You can get more than enough money in this chapter. We're going to be seeing this area a lot through this chapter. There's, there's stuff off to the left, we'll be back there later. We're going to go into this area. Um, I think that middle one's a fight. Let me just take a look real quick and make sure that, yeah, that's possibly a fight. Yeah, the second door... Uh oh, the first door has a woman in it, that's it. This door is River! And a trap! So we can't do anything about traps just yet. Also, the password is River. Yeah, I did it! We head back through these doors. And we head to the attic. Oh, uh, this ain't the attic. Why are you living in the attic? You, Sukuba Ichiro. Why are you in the attic? You're just a goon with anime hair. His hair is purple, except for when he's fighting you. Then it turns black. Well, at least we didn't need to kill her. Oh no, my pacificity! That's a word! Who the heck is that guy? Uh, hi? They're bumping into you, apparently. Ah, forget about the ninja, let's kill the weirdo first. Well, at least he's okay with killing people. If you're going for kills, you gotta kill before he kills. 
Uh, okay, thanks! Don't talk to him, he looks a little crazy. Also, don't attack that guy, either. So, if you're wondering, that dude in a mask has, like, no relevance. He he's just gone now. He's just gone. He just appears. Fight him if you're in the murder mode, in being a murder hobo. But we're a pacifist, so we don't kill him. He kills for us. He's a real good tool. And we get ten Castellas off this guy. One at a time. Ugh, Castella. The ninja is now played by Broken Snake. Wow, that's a lot of Castellas, thank you. Also, you could opt to kill that guy now. Yeah, you could do that. All right, anything else in this room? Um, yeah. There's stuff in here. That thingy. And it's o Origin, I think. Maybe. I don't think the password is relevant anymore. It might be. So... This room has a guard in it here. We don't want to get killing anybody, so let's go in this one. And also there's a kill in this entrance down here. So let's go this way. Into the real attic! Welcome to the trap attic. You can choose to go east or south. I'm gonna choose to go south, because south has prizes. Also battles! These fights are more of a puzzle than they are just kill everything. And they have trap masters. The solution to this puzzle is that trap there that I'm attacking. We're gonna break that trap. Three shuriken should do it. And then we can murder this guy. If those fire traps turn and face you, they will hit you with a whole lot of fire damage, and at pacifist levels, it'll likely kill you. So that's that trap. That puzzle. Now for this puzzle. We gotta take care of these things down here. There's gas traps, there's fire traps, and lightning traps. Oh, that's bad, isn't it? Oh yeah, that's definitely bad. So that's what happens when you die, and you go back to a save, but I'm going to exploit time powers a little bit. I did not use enough... Uh, attack. I didn't attack hard enough. I thought I would be able to get them with, like, the slash thing. So, you know, don't, don't attack those things. The poison dust isn't as bad. It's that explosion that'll get you. So yeah, you, you could fail. You can die. It's very easy to die. It did like double my health and damage. Take care of that trap master, he's dangerous. And I think you get a little bit of experience points for killing all the traps, but it's just not worth it. You saw what happened. And we get the Genji armor. The Genji armor. Is just better than Chainmail, obviously. You played Final Fantasy. Genji is always better. The Genji is always the best thing. Now we got this particular puzzle, which is not really all that much of a puzzle. Because all you do is kill the gray one. It's standing right in front of you. It's also possible to kill the blue ones, too. What the heck was that? Somebody better not be being vindictive over there. Anyway, this puzzle. For Red Buddhas, slash them all at once. In competition, as easiest puzzle compared to the other one. And you can fight these too. But you know what? I farmed levels, so I don't really need to bother with those. They might be a hassle coming back this way, but... We've reached the end. We can't go back up. How much time do we got? 15 minutes? Oh, we got plenty of time. 
So we went through the trap attic, and now it's... River. I think. Maybe. Huh, a tea room. Doesn't seem to be much with this tea. Who is speaking? Are you talking from the roof? Uh, I kind of have a mission to do. Oh, no, I, I, I don't I don't trust this. I'm saving. I don't trust you. It was a trap. Mm, no, no, you already lied about me about the trap. You already lied to me about the trap. Not at all. I know you're a bad guy. Oh my goodness! You have anime hair too. Uh, they're very breakable unless they explode on me. Do more of the exploding things. They're a mechanical person, if you can't tell. I don't want to. This is the Clockwork Genai. There's two ways to fight the Clockwork Genai. The first way is just kill the Clockwork Genai. But the other way is what you want to do as a passive. Passive fist. A passive fist, yes. I use the art of the passive fist. You have to kill the electrodes. The easiest way to do that is stand where I'm standing now. You stand to the left of the rightmost corner, and once you kill an electrode, move over. He might get some attacks off on you, but you could kind of deal with them with all those Castillos we picked up. They're really good healing. And since there's so many enemies on the screen, he doesn't get a lot of turns. And he throws stuff at you. Was that, like, robot poop? He's a gory 9000! Right, right next to him. It seems like counterintuitive, but I need to kill the electrodes. If you don't do this, the electrodes might strike you with electricity, and that does a heck of a lot of damage. You'll likely not survive more than one attack without healing. So it's boring. It's tedious. Ninjas don't do tedium. They're all about killing immediately. Also, a mechanical piece can knock you backwards. But you have to get this done in a certain way to receive a certain item so you can do a certain thing. Otherwise, you'll miss out on something. A whole bunch of somethings. Now, don't use elemental attacks on the Clockwork Genai. He reflexes those. Gotta use physical attacks. Wow! That was damage. Rewinding. Rewinding again. I didn't expect him to do the lightning bolt, because he usually doesn't do when his electros are dead. Okay, that, that changed the RNG enough that he used uh, a weaker attack. So I'm gonna stick to shurikens. Maybe he won't strike me with lightning if I use shurikens. They seem to do some random damage. Some of the ranged attacks in this game are a little weird. Where their effect might have more or less projectiles in them, and that relates to damage. This one just seems to be a range now. Stop it. I hate that. Let's just shirk in this guy to death. I think he's throwing a sweet bun at me. It looks like a sweet bun. Or some kind of boulder. He should be breaking any time now. There we go. He's dead now. Technically, was he ever alive? He was a machine. He was like a soul piloting a machine body. And now he's broken. Wow, I survived the explosion. So this is important. 
we need to have the Zen Mai. If you don't have the Zen Mai and you're doing a pacifist run, you screwed something up. You didn't kill all the electros, you just had bad luck, I don't know. But now that we have the Zen Mai, we could save. And now we could do other things. There's um there's a thing we could do before we make the Zen Mai do the thing we wanted to do. Also, you could fall for the trap on the T. Crawls on the pillow, that's silly. And he will drop you into the dungeon jail area thing, and you gotta do the whole thing over again. It's really tedious and boring and stupid. But we could always backtrack. We could do that next video, though. It's already 21 minutes. There's a lot of treasures that we didn't pick up yet. And there's a way to get even more treasure. And you know what? Since I'm busy not killing people, and I'm pretty sure that's Origin, we might as well just loot this place for all it's worth. Good night, folks.